not Steph Curry. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> That's not Steph Curry, bro. Hey, uh, man, we're back with it, man. The What If Podcast, where possibility begins. Uh, hey, I'm CJ. Your boy CJ, I'm back. It's your boy Trav, man. We in here. Yeah, it's your boy Jarvis. Yeah, man, we're back on another Saturday, another football Saturday, taking the time out of the day to um, put some thoughts, some thoughts on the airways. Uh, always with the goal of helping somebody out, always with the goal of helping someone improve their life. Of course, uh, that life improvement starting in the mind, uh, starting with the thoughts, um, working from the inside out. Um, this week right here for myself was interesting and in the in the in the sense that it helped me um, come up with a possible topic for today. Damn. Some things that I've been noticing within myself. Um, of course, we did a podcast on mindfulness, basically awareness, being aware of what's going on inside yourself. And if I could be honest, um, one thing I do like about the podcast is that it's a place of honesty. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? If I could be honest, man, I've had sort of an eerie feeling. Um, past couple of days, maybe even maybe even the week as a whole, and um, <laughs> I had to come to the conclusion, man, that I'm still a work in progress. You know what I mean? That we're all still works in progress, and to an even bigger conclusion, that I will forever be a work in progress. Yeah. All right. Um, I guess living in a finite world, in a physical world, you're always seeking the finite. You know, you're always seeking the completed thing, the, the the finished product. You want to hold it in your hand. You want to have it. You want it to be done. You always want it to be done. And to know that you're on a journey that essentially would never be done is uh, humbling. <laughs> you know, it's humbling. It's humbling, man. Um, but if I if I could if I could open the floor for discussion. Um, is there anything that you have going on right now that lets you know that you're still a work in progress? Any, any one specific thing that you may be struggling with, um, that you are aware of, but nevertheless that you have not triumphed over that, that lets you know, man, I'm still a work in progress. And I tell you, like, like, um... Like we said on the conference call earlier this week, and my, my big man Jarvis wasn't present for this conference call, but when we actually even came up with a topic, I know for sure what mine is yeah. as of right now, because there's always going to be something. You know what I mean? But I know what mine is as of right now. But whichever one of y'all want to go ahead and jump in there and just um, put out a good example of something that's happening with yourself right now that lets you know, man, you know, I still need work in this progress and... and 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 what not? Oh. Well, man, for me, I can't really, at this point, I can't really pinpoint one uh, specific thing. But, you know, um, I think that was maybe like a, a week or two ago. We were on a conference call, and I told you, like, hey, man, look, I'm, I'm just, I've been feeling discouraged, you know what I'm saying? I've been feeling down. I just ain't. I really just haven't been myself. I don't know what it is, you know what I'm saying? I just kind of been fine, kind of been feeling low, almost that depressed feeling, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And, and really didn't know where it was coming from or, or why, because just like uh, the day before, man, I was good, you know? Right. I had to been doing my reading, my meditation, everything, but it's just all of a sudden that come, but I was able to, like we say, uh, just be mindful of it, be aware of it, and try to just try to focus on my thoughts, see what my thoughts were at, and and, and see if I can, I guess, kind of find out where this all where it stemmed from. Right. But I never could really pinpoint, you know, one one specific area of where it was coming from, and that that just let me know, like, even even though you know we 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 talk. Always say positive things, you know, help each other out in our conference calls, um, on our podcast every Saturday. We, you know, giving giving out, you know, information that, that can help better someone's life. But but on the flip side of that, I'm having these, you know, I'm discouraged and I'm I'm depressed. So it's like, yeah, I, 
yeah, I'm I'm talking about this information, but I'm still dealing with it myself. Right. So you know, I'm 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 still a work in progress. You know, but I'm still here trying to help other people get through this, so I can say, hey, look, man, I've been there before. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. And, and this is what I did to kind of channel that feeling and, and get past it and get my get myself back to a better place. So man, I think I think that's what I got, man. It just being mindful in the world, like we said, and. and and knowing that it's not always gonna be easy, uh, you know, nobody is perfect. Um, and and like I, I I think I posted it earlier, you know, even the the greatest was a beginner, right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. So you, you you just gotta always you gotta start from somewhere, man, and, and you gotta know that it's not always gonna be easy, man. So you, you that, that work in progress. And y'all fellas do agree, like it's a human element of this stuff. Yeah, you mm-hmm. know what I mean, like. <clears throat> we ain't no, we ain't no robots, you know. Yeah. Like, and and I and I just just to keep it real on the podcast, man. Like we regular, we regular folks, man. Like yeah. we, we, you know, we 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 the same as everybody else. And it's not like we come on here as some gurus who got the game figured out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like this is legit a conversation. Um, for a conversation about the truth, but then a conversation full of honesty that say, all right. This is me in comparison to the truth. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, Big Jarvis, are, are you a work in progress right now? Oh, yeah, most definitely. You got some things that you're working on? Is there is there something that's uh, specifically that sticks out to you right now that lets you know, hey, man, I, I still got some work to do in this area? Um, the first thing that comes to mind is this, uh, this decision-making, man, is making better decisions. Um, like I talked about um, a couple of weeks ago on the podcast when I was telling you that I went to homecoming. I shouldn't have went to homecoming. I remember that one. Yeah, man. Just making better decisions, man. Um, Are you still making bad decisions? Uh, I'm not. Can lie. we have a specific example of a bad decision? <laughs> uh, simple. Um, okay, let me see. Oh, simple, uh, simple example, man. Just better decisions. Like for example, um, financially, I'm, I won't say I'm struggling, but financially, I'm just trying to get better and just making better decisions on that. Like for example, um, like you keep bringing up, man. Like he was like, man, why, why stop and get something to eat when you go to Walmart and get some groceries? Yeah. <laughs> And I'm just like in certain situations, I tend I see myself not being mindful, or well, not mindful, but just not being decisive with my decisions, man. Just, well, I guess that would be maybe like discipline, maybe yeah, the discipline. Word that you're looking for. Yeah. So just trying to discipline myself more, just on decision making. You like that Chipotle? Man, Chipotle busting, man. <laughs> ah. Is it so cheap and it's so full, man? How, okay, that's the word. Cheap. How much is how much is your Chipotle cost? Uh, my chicken bowl. Nah, man, my chicken bowl come out to like seven. Uh, <laughs> oh, he know the he know the total. Six, Hold on, what's it, the total, Jarvis? It's, it's like six seventy with tax to come out like seven twenty five or something like that. Okay, okay. And literally, man, I get full off half a bowl. And like for example, like I said, man, like like I told you, I shouldn't have went to uh, my homecoming. That kind of hurt my pocket. And like literally, man, I bought Chipotle like twice this week, stressed it out four days, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's like just making better decisions, man. Like why do that? I could just take my behind to Walmart, get me some groceries and some just bread, some, some ham bread. and cheese. Yeah, man. Five dollar rotisserie just chicken. Try. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, that rotisserie chicken can last you about a good solid three days, yeah, three and four it's good. days. Thing juicy, but yeah, man. I ain't gonna talk about it because I'm hungry right now. But still. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. Just making better. Um, just making better decisions, man. Um. Because, you know, making bad decisions, you got to live with that, I won't say bad outcome, but you got to live, you know, with your, with the cause and effect pretty much, man. Like, I caused myself, I caused myself to go, the homecoming turn up, my effect was, man. I came back, I was hurt, man. So, just, just making better decisions pretty much, man. Um, analyzing all situations and just trying to, like I say, analyzing this Making better decisions. Um, but yeah, man, God's definitely still working on me, man. I'm still working on myself. Oh, man. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, so again, man, we got the, we got the, the um, pain of discipline and then the pain of regret. Mm-hmm. 
and you're going to get one of them. Like yeah. you said, you know, you take that thing on the front end, you take that thing on the back end, you taking it, though. You taking it, yeah. You know, life has a pain element to it, mm-hmm. and you're going to get one of them. Why not get the one that you, you know what I'm saying, you're going to feel good about? Because yeah. there's a pain. You can feel good about the pain of discipline eventually, but, you know, why you going to feel good about the pain of regret initially, like, I'm sure while you busting the Chipotle down, that's a pretty good feeling. But that lasting feeling I had when looking at bank account is just so much longer, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Rather than you going to get the groceries and still getting full. Yeah. Like the same thing that you would have got from the Chipotle, you're going to get from the groceries and then look at that account and say, well, I made a good decision. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then that thing going to ride out for a little minute. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So um, definitely important, man. I actually had um, this cliche. Don't don't read too deep into it, but I had a coming to Jesus moment in the in the mirror in the, at, 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 in the bathroom at work this morning, man. Mm-hmm. Because uh, man, UPS decided that they're gonna go to um, Saturday ground. Like you know, we're gonna st- we always run air on Saturdays, but now we're gonna start running ground on Saturdays, which you know what we do for the company. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm a stockholder, so. Uh, whatever, whatever, whatever gonna make the, you know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but nevertheless, I have to work the next 12 Saturdays. You know what I mean? Last night was our Memorial Day homecoming. And man, my boys really held it down. My boys, uh, you know, I love my man Champ, love my man Dale. Started coaching them boys when they were freshmen, they singers now. One of them getting recruited by West Virginia, the strongest, but. North Carolina, I saw Temple at the game last night. I saw Army at the game last night. Man, he getting recruited. Champ is getting recruited by a whole host of people, and so is Dale. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dale bought a lot more mid-majors, you know, your Judge Southerns, your Walfords. Um, but uh, like I said, just a host of people. I want to say Champ might have 40 offers right now, and Dale might be in 30-something. Um, but I went to watch them last night, and it was important for me to go watch them. It was homecoming. It was their senior night. It's possibly the last time I'm going to get to see them play, even though I do think they have a home playoff game in two weeks. But um, it was important for me to go see them. But then again, I knew that we were starting Saturday the ground this morning, mm-hmm. and I had to be back up at 2 o'clock on a Saturday. Mm-hmm. So I left the game at 10 or so last night, had to run to Walmart, got in the bed probably at 11, 11, 15, 11, 30. Basically, two and a half possibly three hours of sleep. I just don't know what time I fell asleep. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, boom, back up this morning and at the job. And I'm telling you, man, like, I usually wake up two hours or so before work, get myself together. Like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? If I if I think I got to work at, oh, what time? We started at four. So I got there at three this morning. I probably woke up at two because I got a 20-minute ride get myself together, pack a little lunch or whatever, but like the stretching and the meditating, none of that. Mm-hmm. So I went to work and I'll be real, man. Like I had an attitude, bro. <laughs> you know, like when I walked in that office this morning, everybody kind of knew like, I ain't really going to speak to him right now. You know what I'm saying? They, yeah. they, they knew to just hold on and give me, give me a few breaths. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've been talking kind of, I've been talking pretty negatively about the, the Saturday ground thing. I'll be honest. I've been I've been popping my gums about it <laughs> yeah. and, and putting my opinion out there and letting everybody know how I feel. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, so today, man, I'm at work. I'm washing my hands, and I'm still I'm even still like Saturday the ground over now. Like I done went through the whole thing. And I'm still kind of in my feelings about it. And then boom, y'all boys remember that letter that I wrote when I was trying to get promoted, mm-hmm. and they was kind of try, trying to handle me all kind of ways, mm-hmm. saying that they gave my requisition to somebody in this city and. I was going to have to wait, but I was still doing the job, getting the old play and all the foolery that was going on. Mm-hmm. Boom, boy, that letter came right back to my mind. While As I was washing my hands, the letter just popped into my head about how much effort I took into getting promoted to the job that I'm currently complaining about. Right. Mm. You know what I mean? <laughs> and not necessarily that I wanted the job, I wanted the pay increase. Right? Because mm-hmm. you got to be careful what you ask for. Mm-hmm. I, I ask for the same burden that I'm complaining about. I ask for that. Right. You know what I mean? I even wrote a letter to everybody but the CEO to let them know what was happening about the promotion that I'm currently complaining about. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, 
Oh, so, and I'm I'm talking. About, I'm in the mirror checking myself now. Oh, so 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 you want the money, but you don't want to, you don't want what come with it. Because this is the thing. Had I not been promoted, granted, I would not have gotten a pay increase, but I wouldn't have to work Saturdays either. They like the my old position didn't have to work today. Right. My new position did. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And um and man, that was just such a revelatory moment for me in that mirror. But it further let me know that I was a work in progress, man. Like, I'm not perfect at this, you know. I still have moments. Now, one thing I am proud of, uh, or, or one thing I can say is um, that as I was going through it, I knew that, that what I was doing was not good. And I knew it in the moment. Like, like CJ, you probably need to be quiet right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm still popping my gums. You know what I mean? And um, But that whole time just being aware of it, not making excuses for myself. And I would, even when I got down, you know, I'd be like, man, you know, you probably shouldn't have said that. Mm-hmm. Probably shouldn't. Probably should have just been quiet. Um, so throughout this, throughout this past week, I have been very aware of what was going on. Um, but yeah, man, that, that, that was, that was a big moment for me, man. Just to know, um, and, and, and if I can say, I bet a lot of people in that same position. A lot of people are currently complaining about a job that they prayed for, or that they asked for, that they believed that they would get, that they sought out. You know what I mean? And you wanted it for one thing, being completely unaware of what else it would come with. Because right. like when I got a promotion Saturday the ground, I didn't know nothing about Saturday the ground. <laughs> you know, I didn't even know it was going to be a possibility. And I tell you, had they told me back then, I probably still would have been like, yeah, let me get that bread. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, so that's important. And But one part about it that helps me, man, is like I'm human. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I don't want to come on a podcast like, oh, this is how you live a perfect life. Yeah. Like, nah, this is how you actually live a life. Living versus existing. Even being aware and knowing what's going on around you, knowing what's going on inside of you. And actively working to improve it, even if currently... It's not where you would exactly desire it to be. You know what I mean? And I'll tell you one more thing, fellas, that that lets me know that I'm a work in progress, man. E.T. said, um, he talks about holding yourself accountable. Mm -hmm. You know, and letting you, like, you know, like if somebody else let you down, you'll let them know. But letting you know when you let yourself down. And, um... You know, I have, a, I have a routine and I have a schedule that I like to follow. And sometimes I can really get down on myself when I'm not on that routine and not on that schedule. You know what I mean? I, like, I can really get down on myself. And I feel it. I feel myself. It's like a feeling. Like like, I, like you let yourself down feeling. I, it's not depression. Mm-hmm. It's just I didn't accomplish goals that I set. You know, I, I have um, I have goals on my phone right now, and I look on them every day at 3 o'clock. Every day at 3 o'clock, I go back and look at my weekly goals. And this week, bro, I really only checked off one goal. Like, completely checked it off. I tapped all the goals. Like, if it was to work out a certain amount of times, I worked out. If it was to do yoga a certain amount of times, yoga. Um, reading, I read some. I didn't read as much as I put on the goal. Like, I tapped everything, but I only completed one. The only goal that I legit completed was, one, thinking of you gift for my wife. I bought her some flowers earlier this week. So, that's the only thing I checked off. And I have a tendency for myself to to kind of get down on myself. But like I told you the other day, trial, I'm not just blatantly not doing the stuff on my mm-hmm. goal list. Because this week I also closed on my house, mm-hmm. Right. Uh, new home on the first first home. Me and my wife this past Wednesday. Congratulations! Congratulations! Appreciate you that on fe- appreciate that, fellas. Closed on my home. Moved in Wednesday. Moved in Thursday. Monday and Tuesday, of course, preparing all the getting all the documents. The realtor running this here. We got to go sign this paperwork. All this last minute stuff. Go get the check. Um, just setting everything up. So, really, what really happened? Is that my goals weren't really that feasible. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? For for the situation of what was going on. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm trying to fit three days of the weight room, this many yogas, trying to fit all that into this hectic week. You know, uh, I wasn't very realistic in my goals. So then, as I'm getting down to myself, I'm like, hold on. Well, let me analyze why I didn't do this. Because I can feel the feeling. And this all this is all just part of mindfulness and awareness. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Actually knowing what's going on inside of you. I'm like, hold on. Like, why why is this? Um, why, 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 why didn't I complete my goals? I'm like, well... I'm kind of, kind of balance out. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I didn't do this, but I did get this done at the time that I would have been doing this. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, um, those things right there, man, just continue to let me know, man. First and foremost, dog, you human, dog. Mm-hmm. Like, stop aiming. Stop being upset when you don't reach perfection, CJ. You know what I mean? Because that's how I'm wired. Right. You know what I mean? I'm I'm wired that way, but stop being upset when you don't reach perfection. Do y'all do y'all struggle with that? Uh I would have to say I, I, I used to. Okay. I did. Um but I, I think uh just really how I kinda grew up and my personality, it was easy for me to uh put in that discipline and that effort to be to be able to say, Hey look <laughs> I can only control the things that I can control. Yeah. You know, if it's outside of my control, then hey, I'm I, I'm not gonna waste time being angry about that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like you say, yeah, you set goals, but if you don't if you don't complete them, like you say, you look at it. Why wasn't I able to do this? Oh, it wasn't just because I was sitting down watching TV. You know what I'm saying? Just chilling. Nah, I had other stuff going on. I had to just prioritize certain things. Right. You know what I'm saying? And if Getting this done for work or getting this done for school or getting this done because I'm getting ready to move into my home. If that's more important right now than this hour at the gym, then I'm going to do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I make up that hour later on in the week or next week. Right. You know, because you you, you ain't going to have too many weeks like you did last week. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So it's, Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think that's why it was, like you said, I, I just talked to myself, you know, and, and look like, hey, this is what I'm, this is what I got planned to do today. If I don't, if I don't complete them, go back and look at the reason why I didn't complete them. But if it's, oh, I was just fooling around, I could have did this, but I didn't. Then okay, hey, we need to check this, dog. You know what I'm saying? This ain't, this ain't how we rocking. But if it's because, hey, man, I, this had to be done. Hey, then it's cool. We'll try again tomorrow. And you know it. <laughs> you know it's so humbling about it, dog. It really put a spotlight back on my brokenness, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like it show <laughs> once again shows me at what points I'm broken. I find my my value and my ability to be a perfectionist. You know what I'm saying? And when I'm not perfect or when I don't get it all the way right, it's like for it takes away. A part of who I am as a person, and that's not true, mm-hmm. right? But that's my brokenness, and everybody has their own. Uh, you know, you. <laughs> I know folks who, boy, y'all can be going to get ice cream and they gotta buy a new uh, outfit. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, they, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? And that's just a part of their brokenness, man. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's crazy, man. Like we all. Broken in some kind of way, and it affects our thought processes in some kind of way. Yeah, yeah, I can say too for myself. Um, just like you say, we we not perfect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We we all want that perfection, but when you don't get it, sometimes you do. You do tend to be hard on yourself. Perfect example, man. I've been uh, trying to get this this uh, lead spare teacher position. Yeah. You know. Took I did, took the gaze, took the spare gaze, passed everything except for the writing. Three times I already took it. Three times. After the first time, I was a bit discouraged. You right. know what I'm saying? But I, but I thought to myself, like, hey, listen, this is my first time taking it. I'm going to take it again. I got the advantage this time because now I know what they expect. Mm-hmm. But then it was still in the back of my mind, like, dang, what if, what if I don't pass it again? You know what I'm saying? Right. When they took it that time. Did, didn't pass it, so I know I gotta take it again. 